Hey guys, welcome back to some Kubir TV. We are now running the red blue, uh, red blue, red white deck, the new Act of War. No idea what this deck's like. I've had a quick glance over it, but nothing to have a quick drink. Sorry, guys. Yeah, nothing to shout home about. Because I've got no idea, so we'll have to have a. You'll be joining us on this experience, looking through the deck for the first time. So let's see what we've got. At least we've got the right kind of mana. At least the so we've got. Bross Guild Mage, multicolored, 2-2, two, two. tap for 2 haste, tap for 2 but with a white first strike, mm -hmm, that's interesting. Uh, what's next? Veteran Armorer, other creatures you control get plus 0 plus 1, it's kind of defensive dude. And Lightning Helix, right so let's drop her down I suppose. We are playing the other new deck, obviously, most people are playing these decks right now. So hopefully this will be the start of getting the recordings back up and running. Sorry guys, as I explained in the video, first video of the day, the last video done, that Fraps has been a little bit annoying. Plus I've also been doing a lot of extra gigs, so I've been working a little bit more, so I've had less time, so I had less time to kind of go into it, looking for the problem anyway. Right, so where were we? Alright, we've got this dude. Uh, can we just lightning helix this dude? Is that the play? Uh, fly in, predator deal, come out. Yeah, we'll just lightning helix that, get rid of that straight away. Bam! And then we'll swing in for two. I don't know if that's the play. As I said, this is just the first looks at the decks. I'm going to try and unlock all the cards. As I said, there's only 90 cards, but I'm going to try and unlock them all. And then actually start playing games with them so you guys get to see what it's like. This doesn't look particularly a strong hand. Um, I, I don't know. It looks okay, I suppose. Once we get this dude out, he's pretty okay. Pretty okay? That doesn't make sense. Whenever I've just comment down, you get that much life, and I can go plus one. So he's alright. What have we got here? Oh, the untap. So that thing's never going to untap. Which is not too bad, because, well, I mean, we can still use its ability, so we can still give something haste, I suppose. So, another armorer. So we've got the three armorers. So we're powering home with the big dudes, right? So what does it cost? Uh, it costs two. So he's a 2 2. So we drop him. Tap in the right mana. Yep, that's fine. Drop him down. And then use that ability to give him haste. We can swing in for two. He does have one blue open, which means he can have the Pognify available. He wants to turn my dude into a 3 3, which I wouldn't complain about. So, yeah, he's going to turn my dude into a 3 3, so that's fine, I suppose. That kind of works out better. I end up a 3 3 instead of a 2 2. I mean, obviously I don't get the bonus, but this card's just sitting in there doing nothing anyway. So he was debating that for a wee while. Now, the question is, is do I bring down my Sun Home Enforcer next turn, or do I just bring down another armor and haste it? So he left mana open, so what's that deck? That deck's got the flying snake thing that has death touch, I suppose. Uh, so I think the play this turn is drop another one of these dudes. And give him haste as well. And swing in with these two dudes, I suppose. Try and get in for the five. As I said, he might have that flash creature and kill the monkey thing. We'll see here, but at least we get him for some damage. It doesn't look like he's got anything, so that's kind of cool. So as I said, still getting used to this deck. Obviously, never run it before. I don't even I don't even know what the big strong cards are in it. I didn't really look to see what I'm actually playing to go for, if you know what I mean. It's like, what card do I need to make me win this game? No idea. Did he get mana there? No, he did get the Enhancement Destroyer, which is, I suppose, cool for me, because if he casts that thing, he's going to have to destroy one of his own enhancements. So that's fine, I suppose. Not the worst thing on the planet to happen. Okay, where are we now? So, ooh, that looks like a pretty decent Hammerfish Giant deals 4 damage to each creature without flying and each player. Okay, that's interesting, I suppose. So, let's swing in for the 2, see if he blocks. Are you going to block? Are you going to chop block? Are you going to take 2? He's going to take 2 damage. And I suppose we get our Sun Home Enforcer down this turn. He's got 3 cards in hand. One of them's the Stomp Howler, which he can't really cast because it'll destroy one of his enhancements on me, so I'm not too fast. I've now got five toughness because of my armor or dude. So he has got mana open, so he's on six. So he's got the dude that's going to destroy my land. That's a little bit of a pain. So he's going to get rid of my mountain as well, which 
not the worst thing because this card's quite far away. So I'm not too fast, I suppose. Okay, there's more mana, up, but it's planes. Uh, okay, I know he's got the 4-4. Four, four. Right, well, I think our play... Oh, see, the problem is if I cast that... Well, right, I've got to work this out, because if I cast that... He's obviously going to bring down his Stomp Howler next turn and just destroy it and free that guy up. So that's pointless, really. So I think our play here is to drop this dude. And swing in with my guys. Now remember, I can still give this guy first strike if he blocks. Oh, that creature can attack, obviously. Swing in with both of them. See if he actually blocks. And I can give him first strike. Yep, so he's going to do that. So... When he unpauses, are you going to unpause? No, he's going to hold back. He obviously realizes I can give it first strike. So nothing else I can do. So we're just swinging for the damage. We've got him down to seven at least. Still got my first strike available as well when he attacks. So that's kind of cool. If he brings down the stomp power, you have to get rid of one of your own enhancements. So that's an interesting dilemma with this deck already. I can see. That if you drop your stomp power and you the other guy's got no enhancement. So there's another one of those guys which doesn't really particularly help me. Can I swing in for the win here? Two, four, six. No, can't get in for the win. So we'll just swing in again with everybody. What are you going to do? You're going to just take the six damage. He's going to think about it. Got two first strikes available casts, so I can give two of my dudes first strike if I so need to. So he's going to block there. And obviously, we'll activate this ability, give him first strike. And he's going to use that to make his dude bigger, to make him a 4 4, which is a bit of a disappointment, but I can't do anything about that, so that's fine. We've got him down to 3 at least. You probably won't want to risk swinging in. A little bit annoyed with the mana. I mean, look at this. This is the one thing I will say about the decks already. That the mana is a little bit still screwy. I mean, I've not hit a mountain except for the one that I had in my opening hand. So, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to look at that when I'm constructing the deck. But he's still not casting anything, so... Ooh, there's a mountain for me. So, we may as well drop that down. See, I think I can possibly win here. I drop this guy down that doesn't really matter I'm just thinking if I put feathers on this guy no because you can still block with this guy and chomp block and then destroy it next turn so that's no point in that so we may as well just drop this guy down so what's this thing do flying flying flash when drain wheel enters a battlefield counter target spell put x plus one counters on drain when x is the spells converted mana okay so I didn't know that they had that kind of card in the deck so that's fine not much we can do about that so that's a 5-5 five five now on the opposite side. Joy! Uh, can't attack now. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to get up down to 3 and that'll be the end of it. Well, I'll not be able to get through. Come on, use your stop howler now. Put it down. Destroy one of them. Give me a card back. I still need another mountain before I can cast this dude. Oh, it's not looking good. It's going to be a second defeat. Is he going to swing in? Nope, still not swinging in. Still no kiss to the Stomp Howler. What have we got? Oh my god, I don't even know. When kids enters a battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and get haste till the end of the turn. Yay, that seems like a pretty average card. Okay. I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could feather this. There's no point. He's got the Stomp Howler. Ah. End that shot. Right, we'll just have to wait. We're just basically top deck him. A mountain would be nice. You know, a third mountain would be quite helpful. Oh, he's got this dude, so whenever he draws a card, he puts a counter on it. Yay! So he's powering up like a beast now. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, what does this do? Let's have a look. Untap all creatures you control and draw a card. Great. Will that actually untap these boys? I don't know. I don't know if well, but at least it lets me draw a card, so why not? Let's see what happens. Hey, that's pretty cool. Now I can drop my mountain down. Okie dokie. Let's have a think. What can we do here to win this? I'm thinking if I feathers this, 
and then swing in with everything, he's going to have to use blocks. So that's our play. Feather this dude. And swing in with everybody. We're obviously going to trade, but that's fine. I think that's the play. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I should have held off. I don't know. So he's going to trade there. He's going to trade there. That's fine. And he's going to trade there. Okay, that's interesting. So that didn't work out too badly for me. Obviously, he's got East Storm Tower, which he can place, but then that'll destroy that. And I can still swing in. No, I can't swing in next turn. Oh. Ooh, I don't know if that was a play. We're obviously looking for the top deck in Beast card. Does he know his stomp power can destroy that thing? He's got regrowth. Eh. So he's away in his deck. He's obviously going to get the slime. Destroy my mountain again. Oh. Oh. That's very upsetting. Yeah, what a surprise. Ooh, really? Ooh, joy. And this is really annoying. I've got down to one for crying out loud. One! Ugh. Okay, what does this card do? Whenever Banshee attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Fine. Not much else we can do. Drop him down. Oh no, we can win now. Because he's not destroyed that. So that was... Oh no, yeah, I can win. Because I can now give him haste. Uh, we can now swing in for the victory. Yay! That was kind of lucky. Ah, I believe that's GG. He's got no mana open. So there we go. There's a slightly long game of the, the first look at this deck. It's obviously going to need some construction. No idea how it works, but we got a victory. Good TV. I signed it out.